All right, pal, I'm going to go through the, my predictions for the playoffs this weekend. Um, in the championship, we have Luton versus Coventry. What a massive game this is. Both teams were playing in League Two. They were playing each other. Both got promoted in League Two about six, I think it was six years ago. Oh, my God, what, what a job these two clubs have done. I mean, Luton Town, they were in the conference uh, ten years ago. And they've progressed so well, and um, credit to the club. I mean, they've worked hard, they've they played decent football. I watched them against uh, Sunderland in the playoff games, and they, they were brilliant. They, they play fast paced football, good attacking football, and it's a credit to the club. I mean, Rob Edwards took over midway through the season after being in charge of Watford. But it was, um, it were at Forest Green uh, last season, got them. Uh, promoted, won the league with him. He's gone to Luton and he's um, done a sterling job there. So, credit to him and Luton. Uh, Coventry City, Matt Robbins has just been phenomenal for them. He's built back that squad so well and uh, got them straight into, well, League 2 champion, well, playoff winners, League 1 champions into the playoffs. They were bot bottom of the league at the beginning of the season. That were due to the issues with the stadium. And they've just been brilliant this season. Didn't really see much of the Middlesbrough games, but I, I watched the second half of the second leg and they did the job. And uh, my score prediction for this game, I don't want Luton to win. I want Coventry to go up, but I do think Luton will win this game 1-0. I think they've got the Premier League and it's going to be so funny to see Luton playing the likes of Liverpool and Chelsea with that stadium in the Premier League. It's going to be quite funny um, That in that sense. But Luton not had very fun uh, memories of that place. The crowd have not been very welcoming down there. They, they can make it quite an intimidating place, which is good for them. Um, but as an away fan, well, Chelsea fans and Man City fans could see this when you have to walk through someone's back garden to get to your, your stand. That's and that stand stinks of piss. But yeah, I think Luton will gain promotion this weekend. Um, I do think Mark Robbins will still do a great job at Coventry. Uh, the stadium, they don't even own the stadium, they need to own that for me. Um, to have any more type of progression, but you know that's my personal prediction. League One, we got Sheffield Wednesday versus Barnsley. Now Darren Moore's done a great job there. Uh, they've got the record points tally. Still didn't get promoted, like, but I do think that um, with the likes of Barry Bannon, you've got a great, great leader there. The team spirit to come back from four 0 down at Peterborough. To win 5-1 in that playoff game were absolutely brilliant. What what a game that was to watch as well. I watched both games because Briggs is a fan of Wednesday. So I watched the game and you know what? I thought Sheffield Wednesday were absolutely phenomenal in the second leg. The first leg they were atrocious. But Barnsley have done a fairly decent job as well this season. I mean, they got relegated last season. They want to bounce straight back up. And to beat a Bolton side who... A, a decent as well. I mean, that League One playoffs were quite difficult. Barnsley uh, lost on the final day 2-0 to Peterborough, but I do think, I do want Sheffield Wednesday to go up, and I do think they will, and I think it'll be 2-1 to Sheffield Wednesday. So they're getting promoted to uh, the Championship, in my, my opinion. League Two... Bradford, oh no, no, we're not good enough. Stockport County versus Carlisle. Now, fair play to um, both both teams in this playoff final. Ooh, they're better, both better teams in this league. I thought they were both decent when they played Bradford. Um, Bradford took one point off of both each time. And I thought... Stockport were the best team I've seen in the regular season, but if you include the playoffs, Carlisle were miles better than Stockport. I think Stockport, when they they lost the first leg against Salford and then they beat them in the replay on penalties, 
And I'm glad that Salford are in that playoff final. Really, I don't want them to go up at all. Now, with, with this game, this game is just... Uh, it's going to be a good one to watch, really. Really good. Um, I can't wait to watch it, to be honest. Stockport County finished fourth in the regular season. Carlisle finished fifth. We'll get talking about the Carlisle game. Now, the, in, in our... In the playoff when they played Bradford, uh, when we won 1-0, we were very, very lucky to win that game because Carlisle could have scored three or four in that game. Um, they were really good attacking. Paul Simpson's got great management skills and tactically aware of what he needs to do. He came with a game plan. It worked in both games. Uh, I, I mean, I know we lost 1-0 in the first leg, but we only won 1-0. Now, if it had been 2-0... You know, but it is what it is. I mean, both wingers of Carlisle absolutely destroyed our left and right back, uh, Brad Allardy and Liam Rydal in that uh, second leg. I think Gordon were on one wing. I forgot who the other one was because we were so pissed off at the time. Uh, Carlisle were absolutely brilliant. They, they, I think the best team that I've seen at Valley Parade. Um, other than Leighton Orient. Leighton Orient were decent as well, but they, you couldn't really tell if they were fantastic because they'd already won't leave. They could have absolutely smashed us on that last day if they wanted to. Um, now, my score prediction. Now, don't take this the wrong way, Carlisle fans. I don't want you to get promoted. Be simple reason is because your fans watch this channel and Stockport fucking don't. Uh, and I think that Carlisle would be weaker than Stockport next season because Stockport have got money. But having said that, I don't know because... Uh, with the manager, I think Paul Simpson's a better manager than uh, that pillock at Stockport. But I do want Stockport to win, just because the League 2 is going to be harder next season. But I do think both clubs, both of these clubs will finish above Bradford anywhere next season. Whoever it is that does miss out. So I'm going to go for Stockport nil, Carlisle 1 after extra time. I think Carlisle will win this. I think the they deserve it, to be fair. I mean, some of the fans were absolute plums. But every club has got that. Bradford's got more plums than bloody decent fans, to be fair, throwing pyros on pitch and people wanting to fight each other. And, uh, yeah, I think Carlisle win 1-0, regardless of the uh, fans and all that shit. I do actually like Carlisle as a club. I do. I, uh, I do like going up there. Uh, I do want to stay down. It's a better way to be fair. But 1-0 to Carlisle after extra time, and they fully deserve it. Fair play to them. They finished 18th last season. <laughs> what a tremendous turnaround this is, and uh, I think they'll be getting promoted this weekend. Anyway, I might do a video on uh, my thoughts on the return list after they have been announced and things, but oh, my uh, own personal Thoughts on who I would keep and get rid of. To be honest, I get rid of fucking lot, but um, other than Andy Cook, but I think Andy Cook's going gonna go the end of the season. Well, now, end of the season. That's end of the season lasted last Sunday because of a fantastic decision by Mark Hughes to take his best player on the pitch off for a defender. What a lad! Um, I don't. Uh, let's talk about Premier League. Uh, I think Leeds and Leicester are going to go down with Southampton. But I wouldn't worry if I were a Leeds or Leicester fan because, you know, they're better off. I mean, Leeds are United especially. They're better off than what they were last time. They got relegated. They had to sell half the players. And I think they've got a good... It's It's quite... I don't know. It feels a little bit more weirder with Leeds this time. It feels uh, like they could actually... Go straight back up, I think. But, anyhow, see you next one. See if I'm right. Comment your score predictions below. Like, share. If you don't want to, don't fucking bother. <laughs> anyway, see y'all later, guys. Have a fucking top. And, and all them Carlisle fans going up to, uh, well, up to, going down to Wembley. Have a good one. You fucking fully deserve it.